These gas blocks are literally my new favorite adjustable gas block for the AR platform. This is something really, really innovative that I have seen in the industry. Now, I, I, I'm not saying that lightly, okay? Like when it comes to ARs, we've had some cool things come out. We've had some cool accessories, whatever. But when it really comes to innovation of taking something and truly making it better, I have to give some wicked props to Rifle Speed. I know it looks a little funky. It kind of looks like a, a weird kind of lat latisse, is that the right term, pattern uh, for this control knob. But here's a shorter one. Uh, but these adjustable gas blocks are legit. I know. My name is Dave Tim from Guns and Tactics. Thank you guys very much for spending a few minutes of your day checking out this video where we're talking about my new favorite adjustable gas blocks. We'll get into more of that here. Real quick, do you want to give a shout out to TriggerCon October 7th and 8th, 2022 at the Flint Oak Hunting Resort just outside of Wichita, Kansas. I'm going to be there. If you're going to be there, make sure you look me up because I'm handing out free swag. It is going to be an amazing outdoor event that has live fire demos from over 70 exhibitors. So your favorite brands are going to be there showing off all your favorite stuff, plus cool new stuff. Pistol Bay, Suppressor Shooting Bay, Rifle Shooting Bay, plus all sorts of non-shooting exhibitors. So you can check out all sorts of cool stuff, meet with staff, put hands on, and meet with the people behind the products. That is TriggerCon. You can register at the link in the description below. And again, if you head down to Kansas this fall, make sure you look me up. There's all also going to be a wicked awesome VIP party. Truly one of my favorite industry events. Super happy that TriggerCon is back after the COVID hiatus. So, and we'll have videos and all sorts of cool content coming from the show as well. Back to the Rifle Speed gas block. What makes this thing so cool is I have the uh, regular length version on this particular SBR with a suppressor unloaded, I'll clear all that other stuff. Let me just move this iPad out of the way. And what's cool about it is as you can see, the control knob just barely sticks out past the handguard. There's a little bit better of an angle there. And it's spring has a spring detent. And you can feel and hear those clicks for adjustments. And the adjustments are visible from the top. And you can do this even with gloves on, but they're not uh, soft enough where they're going to get bumped or, or banged around or whatever. And they are fine enough where you have several different adjustments. You have 12 levels of adjustments. So that's the thing. Let's just, why an adjustable gas block? Let's talk about that quick. When you're shooting unsuppressed, you want ideally to have the right amount of energy over mass. So everything is, you know, tuned, if you will. Well, when you add a suppressor, you're in essence increasing the dwell time. You're allowing that pressure to build up longer. So therefore you get more gas in the face, the gun starts to run faster, the cyclic rate, your ejection pattern might change. And depending on how much gas is added, uh, it could even be a reliability issue if it's over gassed or whatever. And obviously then depending on the ammo, maybe you're shooting 300 blackout and you're shooting subsonics. So you're gonna need more gas. Supersonics, you need less gas. That's where the adjustable gas block really comes in handy. And this particular one is so awesome because it is adjustable without any tools. Like literally, I just have it here and I click, 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 make my adjustments. That is so awesome. Now, is it the first adjustable gas block on the market to be toolless? No, and I've played around with a bunch. I'm gonna have an upcoming video, kind of like a state of the gas block 
kind of comparing gas blocks. Uh, but with those other styles, it's traditionally like one, two, three, and it's a, a lever or a knob or something like that. Whereas this gives you 12 positions. And what I found is that on position, I believe it was eight, uh, eight or nine, the gun ran just great with my practice ammunition, bolt locked back, whatever. I did have a few extra, so all of a sudden, let's say the gun gets really dirty, or if I start to shoot some really wimpy ammo, I can increase the gas. But then when I add the suppressor, I can dial it down to three, and the gun ran really, really nice and smooth. So I, I had good bolt lock back, I had good re reliable ejection, and I didn't have all that gas in the face because I was reducing the gas when I added the suppressor. And this thing really does work. I'm gonna show you some video right now of basically the gas block dialed all the way down, and you can see that it doesn't fully cycle, it doesn't eject, doesn't feed. As we start to increase the gas, you can see that the gun is starting to cycle better, and I can feel that the carrier is going faster. The cyclic rate of the character, carrier speed, is increasing. And then again, as we increase it, we start to notice more reliable ejection, more ejection velocity, and as we start to increase the gas, we just simply add to it. Now, once we add the suppressor to that, I can start turning it down, and I get that same reliability without having all that gas in the face. So it is awesome. Now, why? What does it compare against? So let's just take a look at one. Uh, and here's the other cool thing. It's designed to go under your handguard and then have just enough portion of the control knob sticking out so you can make that toolless adjustments. And that's why they come in different lengths. So this is the standard length. They do have a longer length. They have kind of a middle one. There's four lengths in total, depending on where your gas block is and the length of your handguard. Now their webpage is really awesome. Uh, they did an amazing job of having information on the webpage of saying, type in what your gas system is, type in how long your handguard is, how long your barrel, and then it basically gives you this configuration of showing you which ones are available, and you can kind of use the chart to figure out how much control knob is gonna stick out. Now on this longer control knob, you can see that you're gonna have this extra you know, space here, so if my gas block was further under the handguard, I can grab it out here and still make that adjustment. And again, it's a firm detent snap that's needed. We'll take it apart here in a little bit to kind of dive in under the hood of what's going on. But just really awesome stuff. Now, again, what I was trying to get to, I'm, I'm kind of excited because I really like this product, is how it compares to a traditional adjustable gas block. And I've got one around here somewhere. There it is. Here's your traditional adjustable gas block. And I'm not bashing on this one. This is just, this has been common practice for gas block you know, low profile adjustable gas blocks is that it typically clamps or pins to the barrel. And then we have some sort of a screw and maybe a locking screw. Now with this particular one, I'd have to carry around two different tools to make an adjustment at the range. I'd have to carry around this long hex key to come underneath the handguard from the front. Uh, and that would go into this front receptacle here. And that would unlock the locking screw. So I'd have to insert here and then loosen this to unlock that locking screw. And then on the side, I have this other screw here that I actually adjust the gas in and out. And basically it opens and closes the gas port by blocking more or less of the gas port as I make that adjustment. So then once I have my adjustment, I'd have to tighten this set screw with this long hex key and kind of lock it in place. And then it's good to go. Now it's set it and forget it. Just like the old uh, Ron Popeil. Set it and forget it. If you're looking for a set it and forget it gas block, uh, the rifle speed may not be of advantage to you because it offers that quick adjustability. But if I wanted to make adjustments to this, I, I had to bring all these tools with and I didn't always do that, especially when I'm going from suppressed to unsuppressed or uh, subsonic to supersonic ammo, whatever. Now with the rifle speed, I can pin it in place, but then I just simply make my adjustment and it uses these plungers. So this is what it looks like here. And I know it's a little tough to see on camera, uh, but these plungers are the real magic of what's going on inside that gas block. So this plunger is basically right here. And as we move that knob in and out, that plunger moves back and forth. And that is what regulates the gas. So in essence, it's almost like a, a needle from an old carburetor, if you will. And it's, you can't really see it on camera. I was tempted to maybe machine one down. But like I said, as you move that knob in and out, this needle will cover more or less of the gas port if we were to pretend that hole was the gas port on the inside of the gas block. So that's what regulates it. And again, you have 12 positions. 
Now, they have really good cleaning and maintenance instructions on their webpage, but I know what a lot of you are thinking is, well, how do I take it apart to clean it? Because one of the downsides with adjustable gas blocks is they tend to get like locked up on carbon and stuff like that. And that's one of my big complaints with some of the other small set screw style is that that set screw gets so carbon locked that sometimes the little set screw strips out or the tool strips or whatever, so it can make maintenance and cleaning a really big pain. This thing was really designed for rugged, serious users who needed a no toolless adjustable gas block. So maintenance is something that they thought about. They have instructions on the webpage, but let me just kind of show you how it breaks down quick. There are hard stops on max and uh, full gas or minimum and full gas, I guess you could say one or 12. But if I ever wanted to take it apart to do cleaning, all I do is I start to loosen it and I get that hard stop. I pull back on this plate right here. It is spring loaded. There's a wave spring here. So I'm gonna pull back on that and then I'm gonna loosen the knob and the knob is gonna come off towards the front. Then I can take the plate. The plate comes forward with the plunger. I'm gonna talk more about the plunger here in just a sec. And then I get that wave spring. And this is common uh, from suppressors. A lot of suppressors use a wave spring like this. And then I have the gas block itself. So I could easily clean this. I can you know, wipe it down, do whatever I need to, you know, with basically just taking the handguard off and I could clean the gas block or in some, depending on your configuration, you may not even have to, you could just take it apart and use a pipe cleaner, a small brush or whatever to clean this. So this is how it all comes apart. Now, what's really cool is that these plungers here uh, regulate the gas and this plunger just comes off of the plate like so. And there's a little groove that matches a little groove there, but you can get these plungers in different sizes. And let's say you get to the point where uh, I don't have enough gas. Call them up, just say, hey, this is the configuration. They have this down to a science, he was telling me, and they have different size plungers that will basically allow more or less gas. And they are available for purchase, but they basically come in a little bag and then they are labeled with what sizes uh, the different plungers are. I, I thought I had another spare package to kind of tell you how much gas or whatever, but you just let them know what you have, but it'll ship with the plunger that's gonna work for like 90% of the people. Other things I really liked about it uh, is it does use two set screws to secure it and it does come with nice knurled set screws. I doubt you'll be able to see those on camera. Uh, if your barrel has a dimple, you can just use that. My particular barrel did not. So JP, I know that you had a pinned gas block on my gun and it's clamped, but I was kind of surprised that it wasn't uh, dimpled. So I added a dimple for reference and then I was securing there. And then it does come with a pin, uh, a roll pin to secure the, I'm sorry, this is a spring pin, I believe. Yeah, spring pin to secure the gas block to the barrel, which is what I did, because I love pinned gas blocks. I think that is the, the best for reliability. So I pinned my gas block to my barrel, and that's something that any qualified gunsmith or advanced armorer could do, uh, but it's my opinion, it's the best way to install a gas block. Then I put it all together, went to the range and started shooting it, and it was awesome. Absolutely loved it. Now, one other thing to mention is a traditional gas tube comes from the gas block, has a slight bend up, and then it goes into the receiver. The thing with the rifle speed is they use a straight gas tube. Now, they aren't the only ones that make these. There are other companies that make them as well. Uh, but basically, you can get them from rifle speed. You can get them from other companies. But it is truly a straight tube, as you can see here. Uh, and they come in all the common lengths, carbine, mid, rifle, extended, you know, whatever, because the gas uh, block sits the tube up a little higher. It's just a straight tube that goes into the receiver. So that's the only thing there. Uh, keep in mind, you'll have to get a gas tube and it doesn't hurt to have a spare because gas tubes can be a perishable item. So I like to have some of those around. Uh, guys, I can't say enough good things about this gas block. If you're looking for a rugged, hard use gas block that you can adjust on the fly. So boom, you put your suppressor on, decrease the gas and you go shoot. Like these are really, really cool. I can't wait to put them on more and more of my rifles. My hard use rifles going forward, that's what it's gonna have. Like these are just, they're awesome. Let's talk about pricing and availability quick. Pricing on the adjustable gas block is a little over $200. Right now they're available in 0 0.750. They're also working on 0 0.625 and 0 0.86, I believe. Uh, and then they have tons of different accessories and stuff available. They have a rebuild kit that has the roll pin, the wave spring, the plunger, set screws. So if you needed rebuild kits, uh, they do have different plungers if you need more or less gas. They also have this armor's block, which you saw me using for the installation, but it's just this plastic piece here to help hold the block in place while you're working with it. So, and again, 
just really, really kind of thinking about a whole package of parts and accessories that can go with that gas block. In conclusion, one of the things that I really enjoyed the most, if you've made it through this part of the video, uh, this is kind of more of a deeper dive into the product when I was talking to the founder of Rifle Speed. And he basically said, when we looked at making a gas block, we wanted to look at how do we make a gas block different? Uh, everybody's making low profile gas blocks. Everybody's making maybe one with a detent or maybe one with a set screw. But how do we make ours different, more rugged, more robust? And that's what they came up with, with the rifle speed. And I gotta say, uh, as far as innovation go, there were so many of these gas blocks and there's, they're great. They work really well at regulating gas, but again, it is set it and forget it. Whereas the adjustability and the use and the ruggedness of this, uh, this is truly really innovative and probably the best example of a hard use gas block I have seen to date. And those are not words that I say lightly. If you want to get one, check out the link in the description. That'll take you to our webpage. We'll have links on where you can get them. Like I said, pricing on this is a little over $200, depending on size, length, sale prices, stuff like that. You can get them in different lengths, depending. Use their webpage for that rifle builder and then spare parts, all that other stuff. Again, this is the Rifle Speed Gas Control System. Absolutely love it. If you guys like this or have any questions, please like, share, subscribe. We're on our way to 100,000 subscriber giveaway. So once we hit 100, we're going to do a shop tour. We're going to do some giveaways, all sorts of cool stuff. So please tell everybody to subscribe. If you have any questions about this or anything firearms related, drop a comment. I do my best to answer those. Otherwise, email me at theqa at gunsandtactics.com. At the end of the month, we do a QA episode where we answer your questions. And I want to give away a prize. We do give away a prize, but I also want to help out and give away as much good info as we can. So that's a live show at the last Monday of every month. And if you want to support the channel, you can check us out on Patreon. Patreon subscribers do also get extra entries into the 100k giveaway so that is for the patreon people you'll get some more giveaways but really uh good stuff from rifle speed thank you guys very much for watching and have a great day